There's about 9,000 ships a year that call on San Francisco Bay, and the ships come from all over the world. All of this economic activity is taking place in one of the environmental jewels of the West Coast, and that's San Francisco Bay. And the way that that activity can take place safely is with the assistance of the bar pilots and a qualified pilot in command of that ship. The word bar pilot comes from a bar that is uh, six miles outside the Golden Gate Bridge. The silt deposits out of the water and it's created a bar. This blue water represents the, the bar that's created. They dredge a 2,000 foot wide channel. The channel is 50 feet deep, but on either side of the channel, it's only 24 feet deep. Taking a deep ship through a shallow channel, determining the height of tide, the clearance under the ship, that's our job. In 1835, Captain William Richardson started to provide pilot service to ships coming to San Francisco Bay. With the advent of the gold rush in 1849, more and more ships were calling on San Francisco Bay. And in 1850, the state legislature created the San Francisco Bar Pilots, and we've been in continuous operation ever since. This is a painting of the pilot schooner, 11 miles west of the Golden Gate Bridge in the open sea. You can imagine under these conditions, it takes a great deal of skill and bravery. Today, we use a diesel-powered steel pilot boat, but up until the early 70s, we had a, a schooner out there at the pilot station. The pilot would climb up a rope ladder, wooden rope ladder, just like they do nowadays, and board the ship. One of my famous sayings is, we send man to the moon, but we still climb up and down the sides of ships on rope ladders. Over the years, the ships have evolved into much bigger ships. The art of piloting has evolved. The water is still there. You know, the ships are still coming in. They're still going to San Francisco. They're still going to Oakland. They're going to all the ports all the way to Stockton and Sacramento. It's a tradition that's been carried on since 1850. How's everything? Everything is good. We're handling all ships, okay? That's what's so wonderful about our job, is one day I might do a freighter to Stockton. The next day I might have a 900-foot-long tanker to the Richmond Long Wharf. We had a group of experts from Harvard Medical School recently evaluate our work schedule, and one of the comments they made was this is some of the most challenging work they've ever seen. This is not rubber ducks in the tub. Some of the more unique challenges are faced on the San Joaquin River. The farther you go from the sea buoy and the closer you get to the port of Stockton, the narrower, the shallower, and the more challenging the route becomes. Without the San Francisco bar pilots, vessels would not be able to come in and out of the port of Stockton. It's a 10-hour transit up and down the river with very extremely dynamic conditions that are changing above and below the waterline. There's currents, there's wind, and pilots have to be very proactive with how they navigate the vessel. Because the port of Stockton is so inland, a lot of people don't even realize that this is an international port and that it has to accommodate a lot of ships from all over the world. And these ships are big ships that require deep water. We'll actually um, make a scale model to the, to the new class of ship and physically take it and see if it will fit in the river and through the bends on the entire route. I was astounded that these ships this size could come down the channel when it's a one-way channel through most of the waterway. That's why it makes our job very important to dredge the channel on a yearly basis so that the ports and the bar pilots can do their job. If a lot of sediment is in the channel, it makes it very hard for the bar pilots to navigate the channel safely. It's what I call um, real piloting. Taking ships uh, 800 feet long, 106 feet wide in a, in a 250 foot wide channel. I would say around uh, 
1915. I can't tell you how many times I've had captains tell me that nowhere else in the world do they go into ports like the Port of Stockton. The best indicator of a job well done for a pilot is when everything's finished, the ship's tied up to the dock, the tugboats have been released, and you're about to disembark and the captain walks over to you, shakes your hand and said, thank you, Mr. Pilot, that was a great job. And knowing that there's only a handful of us that get this job done on a regular basis and done safely, I'm proud of it, I'm proud of it.